Happy Saturday, folks. So I'm out back here up at the land, um, bringing some water up to a water hole that I dug in here. And today, I'm gonna be putting in a mock scrape um, or licking branch, but I need your help. So here's the setup here. I put this water hole in here uh, a while back, a couple weeks back. I'm gonna put a ground blind setup right back there. So this particular area is in these short pines that we have here. This is kind of in the center of the property. And what I did is I made kind of a cool, I guess, travel corridor through here. So I have a trail that mows down that way, about 200 yards down that way is a, about an acre food plot. I have just a little sample hinge cut that I did here, but I just kind of did it because I needed to get some brush out of the way. Then I made a trail system that runs from here all the way out to another access and then a trail system that runs through here. So I hit this a couple weeks ago with some Roundup just to knock the weeds and stuff back to kind of let some of the, I guess the woodier stuff come through, but just to keep it down so it can be an easy, easy travel corridor. Battery cut off there, waiting for that bucket to fill. Um, but I'm gonna need some help. I've never hung one before. I'm gonna show you how I do it, but please let me know below if you think it's if it's work, if it's right, it's not. It's late June right now, so I have time to change it. But a lot of the Habitat pros out there, they use them, they talk about using them. I don't know what I'm really doing. Like I said in other videos, I'm just a average food plotter, average habitatter, just trying to figure this out. So let's get that going. Some paracord, so like I said, wire, Leatherman, little uh, brush cutter, but that's what I'm gonna use. We'll see what happens. I'm decided that I'm gonna try out. Please, like I said, I'm looking for some help here. So let me know what you think. I'm gonna put my camera right on this tree right here. Straight behind you would be west, north would be that way. So this is gonna go over. There is, um, it's just thick in here. Thick, thick, short pines with a lot of regrowth coming through here. But I'm gonna move my camera now because I wanna be able to use the water hole. The camera here and then I'm gonna run paracord between that tree to that tree and hang a stick there. I don't know, I was just at, I was just at uh, Jeff Sturgis's place a couple weekends ago. They implement a lot of licking branches. I've never done them. I'm learning, to me this seems like a good spot because of all the traveling through here. Again, <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out. So I'm gonna put that there and uh, let's go. Okay, well that's the setup, it was quick and easy. I got the camera set up over there. I hope it's gonna work. It's giving me some air code and I can't format the card. So hopefully this old Moultrie pulls through. Otherwise I have to put a different camera in here. Hate when that happens. But as you can see, taking a note out of Jeff Sturgis's book, says to put it at hip height. It's pretty close. I hope it works. I hope we get some inventory. I really hope that this camera works, but that's it. Um, on this one, please give me some feedback. If, you, if you've done these before, I'm gonna put them up on another spot too that I actually have a cell camera on, so hopefully I can give an update on that. But like I said before, I'm just average Joe food plotter, average Joe habitatter trying to learn. So help me out if you see this, let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully give you an update. Thanks, see you in the next one.